Hey everyone, and welcome to DIY Crafts. So today, as promised, we are going to be making a milk jug plant hanger or plant holder, depending on which one you prefer to do. If you want it to be hung up in a window, or if you want to leave it on the floor, or a table or something. So I have here my milk jug, and I have here the twine I used for last week's gnome beard. Um, it's a pretty thick twine. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this twine around the bottom half of the milk jug to make it look pretty cool. Um, the thicker the twine is, the faster you'll get through it, obviously. The thinner the twine, the longer it will take. So, and it also depends on how you want it to look. So I have my milk jug. I'm going to go ahead and tear off just the top of this label. It's not really necessary. I also have a pizza box for my glue so I don't make a big mess. And I have a pair of scissors and some white spool glue. Um, any glue will work. Whatever will help get the twine to stick to the milk jug is what you're looking for here. Uh, if you are not a fan of white twine, jute rope works really well. If you don't like the rope look at all, what you could also use is fabric um, and kind of do like a decoupage thing. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the uh, handle here and then I'm going to make a straight line to the best of my ability all the way around. Alright, so bear with me. I'm just going to go ahead and take my scissors and go ahead and try and cut a straight line. Once you do that, that's your step one. I'm going to go all the way around here. Doesn't have to be super straight the first time around because you can always fix it. But you can always build up the rope a little bit too. Alright. So here is my milk jug. Alright, so now I have my two pieces. And there are a couple things that you can do here. One, you can simply just wrap the bottom half of this and make a um, planner spot. Or you can get really fancy and use the top to create a self-watering um, plant holder, which I think is what I'm going to go with here. Um, so first things first, you are going to want to unscrew the cap. You don't need the cap anymore, that's crap, uh, it's junk. <laughs> um, you are going to want to take a good amount of rope, maybe about a foot long, and you're going to want to put it through the bottom of your milk jug and you're going to let a good amount of it hang in the bottom here and then let it come up to the top and just kind of let that hang out here. We don't need that right now but we're going to need it later. So I'm just putting it in this little hole and letting it hang out there for now. I want to make sure it has space on the bottom and then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue my two pieces together. So, put a little glue here, and put a little glue here. So wherever the milk jug is touching, I'm going to try and put glue. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping. So you're going to want to start at the very bottom and work your way up. So, I'm going to flip this over like so. Try and keep that glue there. And I want to start at the very bottom. I don't want anyone to be able to see that it is indeed a milk jug. So I'm going to go ahead and coat the bottom here with a good amount of glue. Kind of doing like a um, spiral. I'm getting creative with my gluing. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to start twining, um, adding the twine. So, I'm going to unwrap that quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and roll this into a spiral as well. And this is going to be my bottom half here. So once you have a pretty good spiral, you can stick it and keep spiraling 
or you can keep rolling for as long as you can. This will make your life a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and put this right on down. And then I'm just going to keep spiraling around. What I want to make sure though is that I have enough glue to make sure that my string is going to attach here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some duct tape. I'm just going to duct tape the two pieces together so they're not moving all over the place. And so that I can make it fairly even. So, just like that. Put some duct tape in there. <clears throat> and that's just going to help to make sure that nothing's moving around too, too much. when you do your rope down here it's not gonna be that awkward shape whereas right now it's pretty awkward to really get glue everywhere. Because you're gonna need it. Um, if you don't have white glue glue too, Mod Podge works great. Especially if you use it to paint it on with a paintbrush. Alrighty, and we're gonna keep on gluing. Here we go.
that's it. That's where you're gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna touch, um, tuck that extra piece right on in the bottom here. Don't even notice that I did it. You see right here, just tucked it in. Just like that. Now I'm gonna do is go back and just make sure that this is all nice and glued really well. Alrighty. So looking pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and Tilt it to one side ever so slightly. Go ahead and coat it with glue. And just go ahead and make sure that everything's going to stay really nice. And then you can squish it down as well. Make sure everything's nice and tight. and tilt it just the tilting glue here and then I'm just rubbing this in Tilt it again. And I'm doing the covering with glue and then rubbing that all in. always use this do this with a paintbrush you could always wear gloves and saturate your rope before you put it on and that way it's saturated on all sides that's pretty much it so you just turn a milk jug into a self-watering plant holder alrighty so if you decide that you want to make this a planting a hanging planter you're gonna need at least four strands about five feet long each and what you're gonna do is make sure all your strands are even and then you're gonna take your strands and you're gonna do a very big knot at the bottom here you can leave a cute little tail if you want it's up to you i'm gonna leave a pretty decent tail you have this much like this and then you're going to flip your pot upside down. You're going to take that and put that in the center at the bottom. And then all you're going to do is you're going to start making knots. So I'm going to do one right here. Just a plain Jane boring knot, nothing exciting. About there. I'm going to do one in the same spot on this side and tie a knot. So you can do four strands, you can do six strands. The more strands you have, the um, wider it's going to be and the more net you'll have. So just like this, right there. And then I'm going to take one from each. I'm going to bring them together where this meets, right about here, and I'm going to tie this in a knot. Carefully. Make sure it lines up nice. Right 
there. Perfect. And I'm going to take the other side and tie these in a knot as well. Making sure I keep my knot here in the center. basically just making a net here. So I'm going to actually loosen this up because it's a little too tight. Make it down a little. It's about there. Perfect. Right there. Right there. I'm going to try and keep this knot in the center here. So tie another knot over here. Just like that. Make sure it works. It should go around the base here. If it doesn't, you might need to loosen your knots a bit. There we go. And then once again, I'm going to take two more strands, one from each side. So this one, this one. And I'll tie them in another knot. I'm trying to do each wall, so I'm going to tie it in a knot right here. There. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing to this side over here. These two, so you guys can see it. Tie it in a knot again. And so when I flip this over. Just it a little bit here. So just so this bottom one's gonna have to be adjusted, I think, but we'll see. Basically, should be on the bottom outskirt here, so that this knot in the bottom is in the center. I gotta adjust it a little bit. Well then, four eight. So once you get it to where it needs to be, just stretch it. Again, you want this knot in the center to the best of my ability. And then when I flip it up, there we go. And that's what it should look like. And you have your hanging basket with my self-watering spring in the center and so you can do a couple more knots here just to make it more sturdy so you might do one more on each side here here Making sure it's right in the center. I'm gonna do one more right here. So you can get super complicated and do a bunch more. This is just a simple version. And then when you're ready to hang it, you're just gonna tie a knot at the top with a loop. So I tend to leave a loop right here. Oops, sorry guys. Not how we do it. So you're gonna make a loop. 
and then go ahead and tie a knot. And then just pull the loop so it's even. And that's it. You officially just made a macrame plant hanger out of a milk jug. <laughs>